Hello, this is a this is my individual hexagon master badge. This is a story about Tom, who is an entrepreneur and the founder of Paris Baguette. Tom was an entrepreneur, and his dream was to set up a bakery of his own that sold French Korean fusion bread. Finally, he decided to actually set up a business. He rented a small area in a building where his bakery would be at. To launch a product, he needed to research and develop in first hand. He used both primary and secondary research methods to find out the market. Tom found out the bakery market was not yet competitive. No other bakery business sold French Korean fusion bread products. It may- means his products would be differentiated from competitors, and this could be the unique selling point of his bakery. Now he wanted to know what customers wanted from a general bakery. He want- when- wanted to meet customer wants. He went to another bakery, which might be his competitor in the future, and interviewed some of the customers there. Most of the customers replied that they wanted to have fresh, tasty bread where they can sit and relax. Tom thought of how he could combine his market objective and customers' wants. He finally came to a conclusion that he would serve French-Korean fusion-style bread that is made on that morning, thought of placing ivory-colored sofas in the shop. When it all went back to development costs, the price of the muffin had to be a little bit expensive than his competitors. What Tom chose to do here was his breads would have high quality so the higher price won't matter to customers. When he first launched launched the products, the sales were low. It was in the introduction stage in the product life cycle. To increase sales, Tom had to use promotional strategies. He did not have a big market budget to carry out a lot of promotion, but a product in the introduction stage needs a large amount of promotion to make customers aware of it and increase its reputation. So the promotion strategy he decided to use was new media promotion that is relatively cheaper than other methods. He also used packaging to provide detailed information about the product which is called informative promotion. The product successfully reached the growth stage and the rate of growth started to increase significantly. Here Tom thought he really needed a specific target market, so he started observing the main customers coming to Paris Baguette. After a while, he was able to say that the target market of Paris Baguette is both male and female from child to grandparents who live in cities and is middle class or higher. Now that he had more budget, he began using some TV promotion and had posters posters to gain more customers. The product has reached its maturity stage, reached maximum sales and profit. And then he recognized that the product has reached the decline state. Sales and profit failed than before. He inquired why and found out new entrants of other firms into the market and substitute products were the main reasons. If this continued, the sales will level out, so here he had to make a decision to drop the product, maintain or harvest it. Tom decided to maintain the product. He analyzed customer spending patterns and the substitute products. Through more promotion and making different flavors of the muffin, Tom was able to bring the muffin back to the growth stage and kept his market share. Now his bakery is one of the biggest cre- biggest bakeries in the Korean bakery industry. This is the end of my individual hexagon master badge and thank you for watching.